Hello YouTube, my name is Mike, welcome to my channel. This is a video for all you slackers out there looking for that last second gift for the photographer slash videographer in your life. All the items I'm going to mention here I've personally bought and use almost every day and think that they would be a great gift for that special someone on your Christmas list. All the items that I'm going to mention have links in the comments. Those are affiliate links. It's not going to cost you any extra, but it will give me something on the back end so that you can help support my channel so that I can continue to make videos like this one. With all that said, let's get into the first gift. It's cold out there. It's winter. And when you're outside shooting photos, your hands get cold. And that's where photography gloves come in. So I've tried numerous photography gloves out there. I believe the original gloves are the Valorette gloves. That's the first ones I tried anyway, and they are quite nice, but they also come with a pretty steep price tag. So the gloves that I'm actually gonna recommend are these PGY Tech gloves. And what makes them photography gloves is they have the removable finger and thumb so that you can still press the shutter button and, and adjust the dials on your camera when you're outside. So you can still wear the gloves while you're using your camera and it's kind of the best of both worlds. Yes, your fingertips will get a little bit chilly, but it's better than your whole hand getting cold. And I've found for myself, as soon as the temperature drops below zero, these gloves are a godsend and it's something that I use every day that I'm outside shooting in the winter time. And that leads me to the second item on my list, which is winter related as well. And that is the Dubu winter jacket. This is a battery powered jacket, something that I didn't realize I would love until I started using it. And honestly, being able to turn on the heating coils in your jacket is kind of a game changer. If anyone's ever used heated seats in their car, pretty common nowadays, you know that how nice that can be on a cold day. And this just extends that feeling to when you're walking around. The best word I can describe the feeling of wearing this jacket is cozy. There's three different heat settings, hot, medium, mild. So when you're walking around, if you start to get too hot, you can kick it down to mild and then save a little bit of that battery. And then if you don't want to use the heating coils at all, you still have that battery in your pocket that you can use to charge your phone, charge your drone, whatever you want. We all have uh, things that need charging these days. So that makes this jacket a really great gift in my opinion, although I am aware it is on the steeper side. So let's get to some gifts that aren't as expensive. So the next item on my list is going to be directed at the beginner videographer person, somebody who has just started but possibly doesn't have all of the gear yet. And that's going to be a variable ND filter. So why somebody might need a variable ND filter in filmmaking is so that they can choose the appropriate shutter speed without cranking it up too much so that they'll still get appropriate motion blur for whatever they're shooting. And it does that by basically adding sunglasses to the front of your lens. And as you can see, it's called a variable ND filter because as I spin this, there's two polarized lenses in there and it makes it lighter and darker. But what you need to look out for with these filters is there's a quite a range in quality and therefore price. But the lower quality ND filters will actually have more of a hue cast on your image, usually adding a bit of a magenta tint to your image. And so that's why it's worth spending a little bit more money to get a better quality ND. I've gone through tons of these filters, and the one that I've settled on recommending to you guys is this Heda 2-in-1 variable ND filter. So it has the variable ND, but then it also has a polarizer ring that you can spin and change the polarization when you're looking into the water or you're looking through reflected surfaces. And it'll just take that reflection off of the image so that it won't be distracting or you can see through it that much better. Lots of love for this filter and I think anyone would be happy receiving it. Lastly, if you're unsure what size filter to get your special someone, I would recommend getting the biggest size possible, which in this case I think is the 72 mil diameter filter. And then from there, you can get these step up rings, which are quite cheap, you can pick up pretty easily, and they'll actually adapt to the smaller size lenses. But 
what that will do is actually future proof your variable ND filter for lenses in the future. Generally, as we evolve in our filmmaking, we end up picking up bigger lenses, or at least the elements on the front seem to increase in size generally. And so they'll be able to use that filter for years to come. Anyways, moving on, and there is going to be a bit of a trend in the next few items. I swear that I'm not sponsored by PGY Tech. I just end up using their products all the time in my everyday carry, and I'm sure anyone else would be happy to use them as well. The first item being the Mantis Pod Pro. So this is something that I've actually made a video on that I'll link up here. It's not a great video, one of my older ones. It hasn't aged well, but it does show how much I appreciate this tripod in order to create a whole video around it. However, I am aware that it is a bit of a pricier item here. It lists for $164 Canadian. Cut that to three quarters if you're American. But there is actually a newer version of this tripod that's come out, the, the Mantis Pod 2.0 Mini, and that runs at $88. It basically has all the same features apart from a few of the extra add-ons that come with the Pro version. But they both come with the claim to fame, which is this little hook that comes out. So you can hook this little tripod in various places which makes it a very versatile little tripod. And it's something that never leaves my backpack. And this actually segues quite nicely into the next item on my list, which is the PGY Tech Quick Release Plate and Adapter Set. And so that's basically these little guys that I have on all of my cameras. That's a quick release system for any of your tripods, including this tripod. So and this is the first one that I had that came with this. And I liked it so much, I ended up picking it up for all of my cameras. And it's such a quality of life item. It just makes it so easy to put on or take off the camera onto the tripod, move it to a different tripod. I have it on my gimbal. It's just a really well-designed plate and it's a great little feature for anyone's film kit. So I am aware that some of the items on my list so far have been a bit on the pricier side. So this last item is a bit of a lower cost item that will still score you some brownie points with that filmmaker friend of yours. And that is this small rig storage plate. They call it the screws and hex key storage plate on Amazon. And it's basically just a big hunk of metal with a few magnets connected to it to store your hex keys so you can pull them out. But it has all of these threaded holes for the different size screws and a thumb plate releases and just like all of the, the little trinkets that get lost or broken or stolen along your day. And it's about 30 bucks and you really can't go wrong with it. It just it stays in my backpack all the time and gets used all the time. It's such a handy tool and I think that anyone would be happy to receive this gift from you. And so with that, that's gonna wrap up my Christmas gift idea video. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you got some value out of this. And from my family to yours, I truly wish you all the happiest of holidays. I hope you have the time to sit down and relax and catch up with old friends and just generally recharge after this grueling year that it's been. I'm grateful to all of you, and I will catch up with you in the new year. Now buy everything from my affiliate links. Please support my channel. Okay, bye.